So today we will begin the Olympiad Geometry Theorem's A to Z collection, and we will start with the first five letters of the alphabet. So first up, we have Bernoulli's theorem, which states that if AD, BE, and FC all intersect at one point F, P, then AP divided by PD equals AF divided by FB plus AE divided by EC. With this, we can immediately prove that the centroid is two thirds down the medium. How? Well, AF divided by FB is one because F bisects AB and similarly, AE divided by EC is also one. So AP equals two multiplied by PD. So we get a two to one ratio, which is why P will be two thirds of the way down AD. So next we have the British flag theory. And yes, this is not fake. It states that AP squared plus PC squared equals BP squared plus PD squared. So if AP equals 5, PD equals 10, PC equals 11, BP will be the square root of 46. Why? Because we get 121 plus 25 equals 100 plus BP squared and BP squared equals 46. Next, we have service theory. This is when AD, BE, FC all intersect at point P, then AF divided by FB multiplied by BD divided by DC multiplied by CE divided by AE equals one. This happens only when BE, AD, FC all intersect at one point. With this, we can prove that the three medians of a triangle intersect at one point. This is because AF divided by FB equals one, BD divided by DC is also one, and CE divided by AE is also one. So one multiplied by one multiplied by one is one, proving that the three medians intersect at one point. Next, we have Descartes' circle theory. And here, when we have four touching or kissing circles, and we know the radius of three of them, we can determine the radius of a fourth. How? Well, they are all linked with the following four formulas. K1 plus K2 plus K3 plus K4 squared equals two multiplied by k1 squared plus k2 squared plus k3 squared plus k4 squared, where k is the curvature of the circle, which is also the reciprocal of its radius. And we can rearrange that equation to get k4, which is the missing or the curvature we want to find, which will be k1 plus k2 plus k3 plus minus two multiplied by the square root of k1 multiplied by k2 plus k2 multiplied by k3 plus k1 multiplied by k3. And straight lines can also be treated as degenerative circles where r equals zero and k equals zero. So an example is um, let the radius of one of the circles be a twelfth, the radius of another be a third. What is the radius of the circle R4? Well, we see the straight line, which is like a degenerative circle. Um, and so K1 equals zero, K2 equals twelve, and K3 equals three. So K4 equals 12 plus 3 minus 2 
multiplied by the square root of 36, which is 15 minus 12, which is equal th to 3. So the radius of R4 equals a third. Finally, we have Euler's theorem in geometry. And this says that the distance squared between the incircle and circumcircle of a triangle is the circumcircle's radius multiplied by the circumcircle's radius minus 2 multiplied by the radius of the incircle. We can use this fact to answer the following. When are the incircle and circumcircle concentric? The answer is when r, uh, or the radius of the circumcircle, is twice the size of the radius of the incircle. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below. Goodbye.